so the next upgrade I'm going to make to this make to this bicycle is to uh, replace the 160 millimeter brake rotor with a 180 millimeter brake rotor. So I've got a Shimano SMRT56 180 and it's got the six bolts for mounting to the um, hub. Um, the main reason for me doing this upgrade is that I already had one of these adapters um, from my own bike that I had removed when I installed a 203mm rotor on it. So the first step will be to undo the two bolts that hold the brake caliper to the fork. So there's two bolts that need to be removed. Um, it's a five millimeter hex. There's another one down here. All right, now I'll just remove those the rest of the way by hand. bracket it goes here like this and it will mount something like that so I'll see if I can get some bolts through it it started. Now let's put the bottom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of blue Loctite to that because the Loctite that came on those bolts has somewhat come off. So I've now added a tiny bit of blue thread locker to this bolt. I'm not worried about putting too much on there because these bolts have little holes to put a, tie, a wire through them. Alrighty. So that spacer needs tightening up. Let's tighten the caliper back up and I'll check everything over and then after that it'll be a case of installing the larger rotor. There was one important step here, and that is that the longer bolt goes at the top. Otherwise you'll find that if you put the long bolt at the bottom, it bottoms out. Alright, that's nice. Alright. So I left those bolts slightly loose, um, just because I want to make sure the caliper is centered on the disc once we install the new disc. So I'm now going to remove the wheel. So I've now got the wheel off and I've discovered that they've inconveniently used T25 Torx bits but fortunately I have a tool that I can use to remove those. So I'm now going to remove those six bolts which I won't film. So you now simply lift the disc off once you've got the six bolts out and I'm now going to get a new one to put on there. So you want to be mindful not to get 
grease on this rotor and now I need to get the screws that came with it so Shimano provide you with these little um, washery type things um, seems that even the new screws again are a Torx bit So I'm just going to go ahead now and install all six of those screws. So I've now got these all tightened up. I'll have to hold the wheel to do that. But I'm going to tighten all those up and then I'll refit it to the bike. So what I'm going to do next, and I don't think I'll be able to film it, is I'm going to squeeze the brake lever and that will cause the caliper to straighten up on the disc and I'll then tighten up the two bolts. So I've nipped them up a little bit by hand. Now I'm just going to torque them up to seven newton meters. Actually I might take it back to six, that's feeling reasonably tight. Adjusted the torque wrench now for six newton meters. I still don't even think it needs to be that tight. Okay, that one clicked. Now, the Shimano brake adapter also comes with this tie wire for putting through some of the tiny little holes um, that are in these bolts. I don't think we can capture those. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not um, for a hydraulic brake. There's far less going, going on in that region. I just don't want it to get tangled up in any of the mechanisms. So I'll have to think about whether I'm going to install that or not. So there wasn't really an ideal place to put these ties but I've looped that one round part of the caliper body and I've just done this one around the frame bracket so that one's fairly tight this one here's a bit loose still so I'll tighten it up a bit more then I'll snip them off a bit shorter now folded those twists up and out the way so they're not going to snag on anything so now that the caliper is mounted uh, the first thing I notice is that you spin the wheel and the inner pad is um, contacting the disc which is dragging a lot now that's an easy fix all you need to do this big hex here. All you need to do is back that off a little bit until the pad's no longer contacting the disc. Now I haven't measured them, but it's my assumption that this disc is slightly thinner than the previous disc because I did also have to undo this bolt here and pull the cable through a bit more just to close up the gap between the disc and the, um, the moving um, pad. And um, that's now job complete. Now the only thing is They don't match so I'm going to install a 160 millimeter, millimeter disc on the back that matches the front one it'll be much simpler all you have to do is take the wheel off uh, install a new disc onto the hub and then once you've done that all you have to do is go through the 
uh, you don't have to obviously take the caliper off you just then need to adjust the um, the fixed pad at the back and this one here if necessary or maybe just um, adjust the, the cable adjusters um, but other than that that's how you go about um, doing a disc upgrade